Shinobi. Open your eyes. For the sake of your master. That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reasons. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. Well then? Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now, we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. 
I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that can take us out of the castle. Find the secret passage beneath the moat bridge so that we may escape Ashina Castle. When you've reached it, give the signal. I'll come as soon as I hear the reed whistle. Wolf, do not push yourself too far. You must heal your wounds. Secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge. We just got orders to guard it. Mm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. Wolf, you found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. To think that this is the only way. To run from the fated bloodline is the only answer.
Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. The Divine Heir. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. I... Thank you. Leave this to me. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. Shinobi'd know the difference between honor and victory. The Divine Heir is coming with me.
quick. Looks like death is not your fate, just yet. What do you call yourself? Your eyes, the eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <clears throat> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the shinobi prosthetic, a fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic? It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. Oh, I've said too much. Go now. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name. And that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. You're quite the strange one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. Never seen you before. Your name? <sighs> Won't tell me. But you do have the look of a skilled shinobi. A shinobi. Or perhaps. Hmm. Sir, please heed my humble request. Face me in battle. Oh. Still alive. <coughs> that swordsmanship, it was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. What are you? Some call it undying. Others, infested. I can't die, so I just am. How about you? What brings you to a run-down temple like this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, 
Why don't you use me for some sword practice? Might come in handy for whatever your mission is. A warm body that can't die might prove useful to you. I volunteer mine. Well? Very well. Right then. Let's go. They say swinging one sword is a cure for boredom. Have you noticed? This temple attracts those with nowhere else to go. I certainly fit that description. Hmm. And I suppose that's why interesting things make their way into the offering box from time to time. Come back whenever you like. If you have techniques to try out, I'm at your disposal.
battle. Do you think it can be won? I fear we may not prevail. What? We'll be just fine. Look, Ishin may be sick, but he's still going strong. Genichiro is a terror with the bow. And of course, we have Gyobu the demon. Ah, Gyobu, of course. Good point. As long as he is with us, no man could ever breach the Ashina Castle Gate. You, Inosuke? My son, have you seen the young master? I am not your son. There you go again, Inosuke. You always tease that I'm getting senile, but a mother knows her own son. Hm. Well, anyway, take this bell. It's a charm I made with the young master in mind. Please, offer it to Buddha for his sake. Inosuke, my son! Have you offered the bell charm to Buddha? Have you tried the rundown temple with that stubborn sculptor in it? I'm sure you'll find Buddha there. Inosuke, my son! Have you offered the bell charm? Have you tried? I'm sure you'll find. Uh, who is it? Is somebody there? Yes. That voice. 
sir. My name is Inosuke Nogami, a vassal of the Hirata family. Or at least I was. I ask a favor. Might you look in on the old lady in that house? She's my mother, but her mind is failing. She cannot tell one from another. I met your mother. She gave me a bell. She did, did she? You have my thanks. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently. Something about offering it to Buddha. <sighs> Sir, the man from before, right? I wanted to thank you for humoring my mother. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently. Something about offering it to Buddha. Sir, I that she... Inosuke, have you all... Have you tried? Care to purchase an offer, Indy? From go ahead. Where you find the just like the crow, wherever you. I know you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You're that good Sir Shinobi, sir. Huh? Well, I haven't seen you since. Well, since that night. What night? Hmm? <laughs> you don't remember? No. Oh. I see. You don't remember. Hmm. Listen, sir. You and I? We've met before. I was a thief back then. <laughs> but those days are behind me. Now, I'm an upright and honest merchant. Only problem is, I'm broke. And being broke, I don't have anything to sell. So, 
Good sir. Would you mind lending me just a few coins to get my business going? I'll stock something useful just for you. <laughs> you bet I will. And as a little bonus, I'll tell you all about that night. What do you think? Pretty good deal, right? <laughs> Here's some coin. <laughs> Thanks, good sir. Now talk. Yes, 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 of course. That night. <laughs> so my gang broke into the Hirata estate. Now, as you're aware, the Hirata family is part of the Ashina. Now, normally they'd mop the floor with petty thieves like us. I mean, no sweat. But it just so happens we broke in during a battle. Yeah. Almost all of the young samurai were away from home. And it was a prime opportunity. <laughs> then we started a fire and cleaned out the place. That there's when I met you. You, you were looking for something. At least, that's what it looked like to me. Well, that's all I know about that night. I see. Yeah, uh, that uh, look you're making now. <laughs> you had that same look on your face that night. You still looking for something? Listen, <laughs> good sir. For a price, I might be able to tell you some other tidbits you might find useful. Now, for a price, of course, I'm a, hmm, a merchant now, you know, sir. So. <laughs> I'll procure some goods with the coin you gave me. Look forward to it, good sir. Truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. You made this gourd? Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but... The medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. Is this a gourd seed? Yes. Bring it here. Plant the seed into the gourd. Perfect. Now the volume of medicinal waters in your gourd will increase. Such a strange medicine. Is it strange? <laughs> I don't take any offense to that. If it's effective, then that's cause for celebration, whether it's strange or not. That's what my mentor Dogen taught me. I see. Please bring me any other gourd seeds you find. I should be able to further increase the volume of the medicinal water. Oh, did I hear the ringing of a chime? It was probably this bell. I was told to offer it to Buddha. Does the bell hold any significance for you? If it does, talk to the sculptor. He is quite knowledgeable when it comes to Buddha. Hmm. What is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before. If only a little. Take this. What is it? Shinobi techniques. 
recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang. But by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters, swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there? Don't do anything funny with it. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts and awaken old memories from their slumber. Son of... Owl. What happened? Thieves at Hirata Estate. You must hurry. The Divine Error. What year is it? What year? An odd question. Tell me. It's the year of the Dragon Spring Pilgrimage. <laughs> The Dragon Spring Pilgrimage? That was three years ago. What is this? The sculptor mentioned an old memory. I don't remember any of this. But it appears this is the past.
shining scales of the treasure card. Bring them to me, and I'll reward you handsomely. I thank you for your kindness. Please, bring more scales.
bastards. Hello. Uh, uh, you are Shinobi, if if I'm not mistaken. Take the Shinobi axe from from the temple and split their skulls wide open. Please. Hey, good sir. Are you a looter too? Good sir, you look like a shinobi, I think. Are you looking for something? Well, in any case, <laughs> I found this place first. Hmm? <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? And, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you on the... Oh, by the way, while I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was a fine pagoda. Really fine. I bet there's some kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Gotta be. That's what I think, at least. Hey, good sir. While I was on my... It, I bet... Open up! Open up or else! I can hear you whispering in there! If you don't surrender peaceably now, you're gonna regret it later! Hey! Can you hear- Your wounds were. No, I must go. There is a shinobi hunter among the bandits. He's highly skilled. If I don't face him, oh! I forbid it. You are in no condition. Who, who are you? I'm not a thief. Uh, you're, you're the young lords. Oh, thank goodness, honorable shinobi. Those filthy bandits are after the young lord. They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, Shinobi. Please rescue the young lord. I entrust this to you. I pray it is of help. Thank you. You. 
You're the young master Shinobi. Yes. What good are you? You were nowhere to be seen when things went south. Wait, tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of their attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. I hope you die, traitor. Don't use that thing around here. They're very true. a dream or it was reality I have no idea there is one thing I can tell you the great Buddha has seen fit to awaken old memories within you what you felt what you remembered that is what it all depends upon I'm not sure if what I saw is what truly happened that's how it works The Shinobi prosthetic. Appears you've taken to it quite well. Here, this is for you. What is it? It contains ways to bite into your foes with that fang of yours. In other words, fighting techniques for your prosthetic arm. I see. I had thought that prosthetic techniques wouldn't ever be needed again. But it seems I was wrong. If you want more, you'll need this.
It's you. I'm afraid I made a bit of a blunder. Perhaps the years have finally caught up with me. Ah, don't bother tending to my wounds, no point. <clears throat> it's too late. <sighs> Wolf, you must take this. This is the key to the secret temple. In the estate mansion, you'll find him. The divine heir. Going through the front is not an option. You'll never get past the fire. Yes, sir. Perhaps the cliff's just outside of here. Yes. Return to the estate entrance. You look for a side route along the cliffs. Take the back entrance through the cemetery. That's your way in. Understood. Wolf, never forget the Iron Code. Yes. The Master is absolute. Wolf. Protect your master with your life. <laughs> Father. Head beside me.
I don't feel safe with that big bastard just tied up next to us. I'd rather not be gravely injured just before the war begins. Ah, if the worst happens, only choice is to use fire. Those red eyes fear fire. That's what the Lord's proclamation said. Proclamations? What a joke. Ashina sure has a funny way of preparing for war.
What is it? As I, and I can open. What is it? Drag. I will do the point to see. I but. Yeah. Yeah. Like I the do. So Rest. it's the yeah. and, and let I. I'm glad you've.
Care to purchase an offering? Another one. Where you find the departed, you'll find a memorial mob. A battlefield is our paradise. Go ahead. Buy an offering. Where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial mark. Wherever your travels take you, make sure you bring some offering. Hmm. Another rat. Ah, but those eyes. A starving wolf. Before I kill you, tell me your name. Tell me your name! <laughs> no name to give. You, Shinobi, are all the same. You die nameless, with no one to mourn you. However, your left arm, a prosthetic Shinobi arm, it reminds me of... <laughs> That's it. A one-armed wolf. I like it. Which means Sekiro. That is what I shall name you. Who are you? <laughs> I am the Tengu of Ashina. Come, Sekiro. Care to hunt some rats with me? What? Rats have snuck into Ashina, scurrying about like they own the place. There are all kinds of rats out there. And they must be cut down. Every last one of them. It seems you have a talent for killing. Allow me to help you hone that talent. What'll it be, Sekiro? Will you hunt rats with me? Very well. Excellent. You'll need this if you're with me, Sekiro. What is this? <laughs> the face of a rat and where it makes its home. Go, and kill it. If you do, I will give you something that will aid you in battle. land of Ashina will not last much longer, even with Genichiro on our side. What about our other mission? Black Hat is fighting like a demon by the Serpent Valley side of the castle. Then that's where we're going next. But keep your wits about you. The Black Hat Badger won't go down without a fight.
Ah, uh, looks like you've caught yourself some rats. Yes. I knew you had a talent for killing. Wonderful. Here's your reward. Take it! This is... The ways of the Ashina Blade. It's our school of fighting. But there are no hard and fast rules. You just win your battles. That alone is the most important rule of the Ashina. I hope it can be of assistance with your rat hunting. And most of all, your own battles you've yet to fight.
I'm sure you are all aware already. This coming battle will determine the fate of all Ashina. We go now to risk our lives for Lord Ishii and the peoples of Ashina. We are Ashina! We are unbreakable! Yeah! For Ashina! Your death is not your fate. Just yet. <coughs> Have you seen the sculptor lately? Yes. He's... All I know is what Dogen told me long ago that the dragon's heritage can bestow the power of resurrection. However, it is not any ordinary power. Repeated use leads to stagnation, which will eventually reach a point where it overflows. This causes those who do not have the power to become sick, a disease known as dragon rot. He knew much about it, but even so, he was unable to determine a cure. Forgive me. Is there a way to treat this dragon rot? I do not know. I am unsure. But the first step is to look through my mentor's research and see if I can discover a way. Thank you. Goodbye.
What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize you were here. The sculptor has been coughing blood. I took a sample of this blood for my dragon rot research. A sample of his blood? Yes, blood that he's coughed up. The color of the blood itself appears to be tainted, stagnant, but the sculptor's blood alone isn't enough to reach any conclusions. Is there anything I can do? Yes. Bring me samples of blood coughed up by others that suffer from the dragon rot. If I have more, I'll be able to learn more about the disease. If I come across anyone afflicted by the dragon rot, I'll ask them. <sighs> Thank you. Goodbye. Go on. I'll buy some information. Thank you very much for your patronage. Hmm. Since you're a shinobi, I'll give you some information about shinobi tools. If you could. Now, I've seen this tube. A tube with fire blasting out of it. Huh? When we broke into the Hirata estate, one of my pals nabbed one. That's... That's the sound the fire makes when it blasts out. I have one. I'll tell you that... What? I said I already have one. Huh? Oh. Oh. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> that one's on me. By the way, good sir, I'm going to let you in on something. All right. I'm thinking about expanding my business. I mean, who knows when Ashina will fall? It's what you might call a, uh, sinking ship. In other words, <laughs> opportunity is knocking, you know? Which is why I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? Do you mind finding out what the Ashina Samurai want right now? You tell me that, and I can sell it to them. You're a shinobi. I bet you've got a good ear for gathering information from the enemy. Ah, help a poor merchant out here, huh? Please. Sample. <coughs> now to bring this to Lady Emma. you've come, Master Wolf. I've obtained one. A blood sample. Let me see. The coloration is very similar to the sculptor's. The color is just slightly tainted. But what's this? Hmm. Do you have enough blood? I believe so. Allow me to continue my research into the dragon rot. When we speak again, it's likely I'll have made a breakthrough. In fact, count on it. Goodbye.
waiting for you. Any progress? Yes. The source of the dragon rot is the stagnation in your blood. What causes the stagnation? The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of this power, and then you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but it must draw on power from another source. From those that have the dragon rot? I believe so. For those who have the dragon rot, the natural life force that everyone has, that allows them to live their lives and function as human beings, has been taken from them. Their blood has stagnated. Can it be cured? Yes. By giving back what has been taken, here you are. Dragon rot has been cured. Yes. Please, give this to him. What is it? <laughs> it's his favorite tea. I thought it would be a fitting way to celebrate his return to health. Determine the fate of all Ashina. We go now to risk our lives for Lord Ishin and the peoples of Ashina. We are at. samurai of this castle, are you, friend? You look like a shinobi, and a skilled one at that. That's right. <laughs> I thought so. In that case, let's say you take care of some of the samurai around here. Some unfortunate things happened, and now they're after me day and night. I'm at the end of my rope here. I tell you, these Ashina samurai got a stick so far up their well, you'd think they'd have bigger things to worry about than chasing after me, anyway. 
Of course, I'll make it worth your while. I make my living selling information. Take care of the samurai around here for me, and I'll let you in on something really special. As promised, it's all your. See ya, pal. Maybe we'll cross paths again someday. Yeah, you stole. He who maybe. that put the armor on that big bugger from Taro Troop. Yeah, he was making a stink about it. But it looks like it's your demo. Oh!
Care to purchase an offering? Another one. Where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial ma- We the- Boy. Where you find- Whatever you- stirs my soul. Beautiful, and yet somehow sad. As if it yearns, it calls for someone. Hey. Who are you calling for? Let me hear it one more time. Hey, you. What? <coughs> oh, my name is Jinzaimon Kumano. My duty is to patrol the moat. Hmm. I've not seen you around before. Which clan are you? I cannot say. You cannot say, you say? Hmm. So you are a shinobi, then? I cannot say. Your manners could use some work. No matter. If you are a shinobi, I won't press any further. <coughs> shinobi! Have you ever heard someone playing the shamisen around here? I followed the sound and it led me to this well. I have not. That's... I thought since you're a shinobi, you might know. I wonder who that melody calls to... I don't know why, but I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> ah, no. It's nothing. Please forget I ever spoke of it.
you. Thanks again for bailing me out back at Ashina Castle. I'm gonna be hanging around here for a while. I need time to sort through all the info I've got. Speaking of which, I'm happy to do business with you anytime. Interested? Next time. I'm glad you. Father. Lord Ishines. It's a wonder he is still with us. A miracle. Is that so? Divine heir, I'll ask you once more. Accept me to your immortal oath. I cannot do that, Lord Genichiro. Your victory that day means nothing. He will risk his life to take me home. For he is my shinobi. My lord, I have come for you. This... will only take a moment.
impressive, shinobi of the divine air. But you deserve better. Would you not answer to a different lord? Heresy. Heresy, you say? If it is for the sake of preserving Ashina. I will seize any manner of heretical strength. I will do any burden. Behold the lightning of Tomo. You were victorious, I see. Are you? I mean you no harm. Shinobi of the Divine A- uh. Lord Kinichiro, is this the rejuvenating waters? This land is everything to me. For her sake. I will shed humanity itself. Resurrection. Yes. I've managed to fulfill my master's orders. I give you my thanks. Who, exactly, do you serve? Ishin Ashina. <clears throat> I am a doctor in the service of Lord Ishin. Why were you ordered to help me? Lord Ishin has no desire to use the power of the dragon's heritage. That is why he... He tried to help Lord Kuro escape Ashina. Correct. The message I found in the well... That was your doing? Also correct. My duties have concluded. But 
There's someone I think you'd like to see. Lord Kuro is downstairs. for you, my lord. Yes, you did well to come here. Let us go. We must leave, Ashina. Wolf, my blood. The blood of the dragon causes men to become undying. The same goes for you. Yes, my lord. I wish to save you. I'm sure that I would do the same thing given another chance. However, undying begets stagnation. The immortal oath, the rejuvenating waters, the dragon rot. They all corrupt men to the point that they no longer live as men. I wish to sever the chains of stagnation bred by the dragon's heritage. Wolf, will you help me achieve this aim? Father, I cannot break the Iron Code. I cannot. To protect you, the Divine Heir. That was the duty my father entrusted to me. How many times have you died and come back to life for my sake? Two? Three times? Or perhaps a number so large that it cannot be counted? As it was for the purpose of defending my lord, the number does not matter. I do not wish to bind you to an eternity of undeath. Wolf, join me in my quest to sever the ties of immortality. As you wish. Thank you, loyal wolf. If we are seeking to sever the immortal ties, I know a good place to start. Wolf, look at this. It's an ancient record that was kept in Ashina Castle. Sacred dragon tears from the divine realm. Yes, it is my belief that with the dragon tears, it may be possible to sever the dragon's heritage. But... the Divine Realm? How do we... I know. Wolf, that incense burner over there. It belonged to a... person of interest. Take a look. Is there something special about it? I'm told that long ago, there was another Divine Heir living here in Ashina Castle. His name was Lord Takeru. This incense burner belonged to him. Where is he now? He died a long time ago, apparently, wrapped in the aroma of the fountainhead. I return to the Divine Realm. Those are supposedly the words he left behind. You're saying the scent of the fountainhead is the key to reaching the Divine Realm? That is my belief. Wolf, let us discover the truth together. Now, as to how we begin our search, I am certain some of Lord Takeru's books remain in this castle. Books that he collected in order to find the Divine Realm. I will search for them. In addition to finding a way to reach the Divine Realm, might we also look into how we might sever the immortal ties? A fine suggestion. Talk to Ishin. If anyone knows the answer, it is him. Wolf, come with me. Lord Ishin is not within this castle citadel. I'm told he is recuperating in one of these watchtowers. However, the path to his watchtower is closed. His health is a little... How do I get in? On the roof. There's a path patrolled by the Nightjar Ninja. It's intended for Shinobi, but I imagine that won't be a problem for you. I've heard the Nightjar use smoke signals as landmarks. Yes. So if you follow their smoke signals, you should be able to reach Lord Ishin, and you can use this window to reach the roof.
About the Divine Heir's life. Yes? There is something I wish to ask. Uh, before that, Saki. What? You earned it. Take it. My grandson, Genichiro, was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. You did well to put a stop to that for me. You have my thanks. I merely followed the code my father taught me. Ah, the Iron Code of the Shinobi. I see. So you're the son of Owl. That boy he found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travels brought you here. <laughs> the bonds that tie us are so deeply amusing. Don't you think, Sekiro? You're... So what do you wish to know? The Divine Heir's desire is to sever the ties of immortality. I want to know how it can be done. The mortal blade. If you had such a weapon, it may be the key to what you are after. The mortal blade? With it, you could kill one who cannot die through normal means. One who cannot die? The infested, I believe they are called. I have not seen one before, but it's said you could stab them through the heart, or remove their head, and they wouldn't die. <laughs> if the stories are true, they'd surely be quite fearsome. To kill a monster such as that, you'd need the mortal blade. Where is this mortal blade? I've heard it's held in Senpo Temple. However, they say the mortal blade cannot be drawn. What do you mean? I am not certain of the meaning. It's just hearsay. Hmm. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Who knows what those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains. There aren't any decent roads leading there. How do I get there? The abandoned dungeon just outside of Ashina Castle. If you can pass through its waterways, you should find your way. You're leaving, Sekiro. Severing immortality. That will be quite the battle. And in battle, the plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, you'll be swept away. And lose the battle. <laughs> That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro, hesitate. And you lose. enough salt? Yes, sir. We use it for cooking, of course, but we also use it on wounds and for purifying the dead. So at the rate people are dying, we're out then? Yes, sir. That's why many on the battlefield are falling ill. I see. We'll need to find a way to get some salt then. Seems they're low on salt. Salt, you say? Well, you eat it, of course. But it's also good for purifying the dead and putting on wounds. Diseases spread quick with rotten corpses on the battlefield. Everyone's scrambling for salt. <laughs> that means now's the time to cash in. Lots of people need salt. I mean, karma should bite me if I sell it for a tad more than the going rate, right? Now that that's decided, it's time to get me some salt. Thank you 
Very much good, sir. Until next. I'll stock some new. Make sure. Masters, I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Dreadful illusion techniques. Without a snap seed, it cannot be overcome. Take this. It's not much, but it's what I have.
on my behalf. I cannot throw away such loyalty. Loyal wolf, take my blood and live again. I see you've acquired something quite interesting. A mechanical barrel. It's a mechanism that can serve as the very core of the prosthetic. Hand it here. I'll fit it to the arm for you. What difference does the barrel make? With a versatile base such as this, I can use various purifying agents to further hone that fang of yours. Purifying agents? Purifying agents are materials that can be used together with the barrel. Things like gunpowder and scrap metal. So if you find something of that sort, be sure to bring it my way. Possibilities. I can use various purifying agents to further hone that fang of yours. So if you find something of that sort, be sure to bring it my way. Awful. I have returned. Oh, Wolf. You're back. Did you meet with Lord Ishin? I did. He said the mortal blade. It could be the key to severing immortality. The mortal blade? It's a sword that has the power to kill the undying. It can be found at Senpo Temple. I see. Yes, that seems promising. As you say. For my part, I hunted for any books that may contain clues about the aroma of the Fountainhead. It seems Lord Takeru indeed sought a way to reach the Divine Realm. So far, I found one piece of relevant information. What is it? A flower. My lord, this is for you. Could this be? It's a Sakura droplet. That's... When the Undying Pledge of the Dragon's Heritage is broken, it's said that this remains in place of the Oath. Do you think this one was left behind by Lord Takeru? That seems likely. Wolf, if you so desire, I can use this Sakura Droplet to assist you. If you should be so kind. Of course. Close your eyes. My lord. Lord Takeru's Dragon Blood lives on with you. I humbly accept. Yes. You may open your eyes now. My lord. That was a boon granted by Lord Takeru. Use it well. Yes. A flower. First, read this. What is... Lord Takeru left it behind. I was looking for information on the Fountainhead Aroma, and how it relates to the Divine Realm. There is water that flows from the Fountainhead through Ashina, 
and the book speaks of a white lotus flower that grows where the water pools deeply. It appears to be one component of the fountainhead aroma. A place where the fountainhead waters pool deeply, perhaps in a deep valley? Yes, indeed. The sunken valley may be the place the fountainhead waters should flow into there. Where is this sunken valley? It's beyond the woods to the rear of the castle. There's a shrine dedicated to the White Serpent deep in the woods. As the name implies, the sunken valley is just below that place. There's no proper path down there, but a man of your talent could navigate it. Oh, that's right. That door marked with the outline of a person. Lord Ishin once called it a shinobi shortcut. I haven't a clue how it works, but seeing as he mentioned shinobi, I thought you might know. to purchase an offering. May the departed places. Ah, are you perhaps a shinobi? That's right. I thought as much. Might you be willing to take on a favor for me? I am Dojun. I've been tasked with the preparation of a medical treatment using the rejuvenating waters. I'll get to the point, my dear shinobi. This is a letter I received from the master. The particulars are contained within. My dear Shinobi, the details are in the document I gave you. Considering the nature of the information, I think you'd agree that the less we know about each other, the better.
You. Yes, you. Should you be captured, there is no telling what would become of you. You would do well to return the way you came. However, I will not stop you from entering if you are determined to do so. But if you do, please proceed with care. We will pray for your safety. It is the least we can do. <laughs> they left me here. Where did everyone go? Why did you leave Kotaro behind? Now what do I do? Why are you crying? Everyone's gone. I'm all alone. Who's everyone? Everyone? Huh? Who? Uh, um, <laughs> the spinning, spinning red and white flowers. Only one. Pure white flower. The pure white flower I cannot find. What? My head hurts. Sorry. I have no idea what I'm saying. I just... I've got to find the pure white flower.
it's over there. The fresh one is over there. Over the cliff, through the hole. That's where you'll find it. Fresh? What are you talking about? Hmm? Something troubling you? Rice for me, that's the way. Rice, I say. If something troubles your mind, bless me with rice anytime. <clears throat> Have any ri rice from the divine shop?
you've met with Lord Ishin? Yes. He thanked me for defeating Genichiro. I see. To think that Lord Genichiro would go as far as to drink the rejuvenating sediment. Rejuvenating sediment? That's what we call a particularly concentrated part of the rejuvenating water. I'm sure you saw it for yourself. The rejuvenating sediment grants great resilience in one's flesh. One becomes able to withstand blows that would be fatal to anyone else. My mentor, Dogen, devoted much research to its uses, but all of his works, documents, medicines, everything, were burned and destroyed. I'm not sure who, but I heard one of the senior apprentices was able to salvage some, probably Dojun. Did you ask Lord Kuro's thoughts on the matter? I did. And? We've decided to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I thank you for all of the help you've given me. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're bidding me farewell for good. I've carried out my lord's orders, so I will stay here in the castle. Come and speak to me whenever you please. I will provide my assistance to you as a doctor. Goodbye.
Oh! Yeah. 
three monkeys. One of the panels is empty. Yet another who is lost in the halls of illusion. I believe you are on a mission, and wish to leave this place. Yes. Then you must defeat the monkeys depicted on the panels at the hall entrance. Once you have done so, the Divine Child's voice will reach you. The monkey in the purple kimono is the seeing monkey. He has excellent eyesight can see great distances, and is very attentive. If he spots you, he will run immediately. He is exceedingly timid. The monkey in the orange kimono is the speaking monkey. While he does not have particularly good eyesight or hearing, he makes a big fuss when he sees a threat, causing all the other monkeys to run. Oh, perhaps he merely enjoys toying with humans. The monkey in the green kimono is the hearing monkey. He has excellent hearing, can hear across great distances, and is very attentive. He will generally run away the moment he hears you coming, making it hard to approach. He is exceedingly. I do not wish... It is usually quiet here. Which, oh yes, there was once someone who, like you, was on a mission. I believe he chased the monkeys for a while, but everything here eventually went silent. I pray that you succeed.
Please, forgive them. They only sought to keep me hidden. However, it seems it was not meant to be. Close your eyes. Let us meet at the inner sanctum. Why do you seek this place? I seek the mortal blade. Do you know of the blade that cannot be drawn? Yes. It is so called, for not one who has drawn it has ever survived. Yet you still wish to attempt this. I do. I see. Very well. If you are prepared. You may gaze upon the blade. <laughs> Why is it, I wonder? Are they not loath to die? <gasps> How? How are you? Your eye. I see. You carry the curse of the dragon's heritage. The mortal blade, without question. I accept its power. I see you serve the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Yes. Why do you seek the mortal blade? I wish to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I have read about this. I have read there is a way to sever the dragon's heritage. Mm. Which means the divine heir begrudges the power of the dragon's heritage. That's right. How strange fate can be. I am one of the children of the rejuvenating waters, created by those who would stop at nothing to achieve immortality. My false dragon's blood was created by man. Children? So there are many of you. I am the only one who survived the process. The others are laid to rest here. I see. I do not know if it is right to sever the ties of immortality, but the dragon's heritage undeniably corrupts the lives of men, and I share the heir's feelings about that truth. Shinobi of the Divine Heir, I have decided to assist you. Please, hold out your hand. What? Bless us with bountiful harvest. This is... rice? There you are. Rice is a precious thing. It tastes better the more you eat it, and restores one's vigor. Shinobi of the Divine Heir, you are welcome here. Farewell, Shinobi of the Divine Air. May the harvest be plentiful wherever your path may lead.
Told those morons to give it a rest. But they don't. They just keep sending more. Such a pain in my head. Huh? You one of them Nightjar cronies? No. Ah, of course not. There's something different about you. But I'd say you're in the same line of work. The name's Black Hat Badger. What's yours? <laughs> Real sociable one, aren't we? First this stubborn lot, now a down in the dumb shinobi. And then, those Ashina boys raising hell outside. Could this day get any better? You're a fugitive. Something like that, sure. By the by, I'm a little out of pocket these days. Got the goods, but no one to sell them to. Been waiting for someone like you to show up. Come back. Got all. Oh. Well, then. thanks, G. Enough thinking. Where to? Center's all. Gotta feel so. It's about time I tied up some loose hands.
Ministry rats. They find a way in through every crack and crevice. There's always more of them to kill. By the way, Sekiro, have you mastered any secret techniques? Hmm. Hmm. Not quite yet, it seems. Cut them down, Sekiro. Every last one. Have you mastered it? Mm -hmm. Not
It appears as though your old memories have been awakened. Yes, I saw the divine heir. <laughs> I, I won't say any more, and neither should you. All that you saw was yours alone. Sculptor, what did that Buddha show you? Were you listening? Tell me. Flames. Flames. That is all I can see. It doesn't matter what offering I make. Flames spreading as far as the eye can see and consuming Ashina. That's... We're done here. Another time, then. I'll lend you shelter any time.
the serpent, yes. There are two kinds. One is fresh, the other is dried. Over there. The dried fruit is over there. Past the poison swamp. Down the nest. That's where you'll find it. What are you talking about? Dried fruit? Eh? Something troubling you? Rice for me. That's the way. Rice, I say. If something's not right, bless me with rice any time. Have any rice from the Divine Child.
glad you've come, Master Wolf. Goodbye. My lord, I've procured the flower for the Fountainhead Aroma. Oh? Was it truly blooming in the Sunken Valley? Yes. Deep within the valley. So that is where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply. You've done well to acquire this wolf. Oh, and actually, I found something. I discovered there's another scent we must acquire. What is it? The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. In other words, my blood. Your blood? But my lord, you cannot bleed. Yes, it is true that those of the dragon's heritage cannot bleed. However, in Lord Genichiro's quarters, I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page. And it appears there is a way for me to bleed. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. Now then, we just need to figure out how to make me bleed. Perhaps we should ask Lady Emma. Hmm. As a doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human body. Yes, she may be able to help us. Wolf, that sword on your back, is it? It is the mortal blade. The sword that can kill those who cannot die. Yes, it was given to me by the divine child of the rejuvenating waters at Sempo Temple. The divine child of the rejuvenating waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those who have false dragon's heritage, known as the Divine Children of the Rejuvenating Waters. A false dragon's heritage. I never would have thought. Wait, Divine Children? Yes, many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man, the ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. Wolf! Look here. I found something that may help us. It's a stone. A stone? Yes. Look at this. What is? It's a writing by one who sought the fountainhead aroma. It says there's a sacred village with a stone that gives off a unique scent. But I haven't heard of such a village. Hmm. It says here that it is beneath Ashina, beyond the bottom of the well you awoke in, near the Moonview Tower. It says there is a bottomless hole. It may be relevant to our search. I will take a look. Good. The text did say to throw oneself. I wonder what that could mean. I do not know. Huh. I don't know either. See if you can think of a place. My lord. To think. Perhaps might you ask... Ah, did you... I did not. I see. It is... There is something I'd like to ask. Yes, what is it? Can the divine heir be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood of the divine heir is required to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the divine heir's blood cannot be shed by normal means. However, you currently possess the means to do so. The mortal blade. Yes, here you are. This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. With the mortal blade, you may wound the Divine Heir, and his blood will be allowed to flow. I see. This brings us one step closer to immortal severance. I shall tell my lord. Of course. Wolf. I did. And? What did she say? That it could be possible with the mortal blade. I see. So the mortal blade will allow my blood to flow. As you wish. Hmm. Shall we give it a try? The mortal blade was never meant to be drawn. There is no knowing how it will affect you. Burning the incense may help protect you from such harm. Yes. If you insist, then that is what we shall do.
gone, but she was here just moments ago. You? Hmm? Oh, Shinobi. Listen. I finally saw her. The Shamisen player was a woman. I only saw her from afar, but I could tell. A beautiful, yet fleeting presence. Oh, I should have asked if she was calling to me. But before I knew it, she disappeared into the mist. Now that I think it over, my father told me stories about a hidden town shrouded deeply in mist. An ominous town. Don't ever go there, he said. But that doesn't matter to me now. Now there's a thick, misty forest in my way. If only I could figure out how to get through it and find that shamisen player. It's coming from deep in the fog. That melody is calling me. Slay one who opposes it. One who opposes the Buddha? Correct. <coughs> the one of whom I speak hides in an abandoned temple up ahead. He sealed away the village in a shadowy fog so that he can fool the villagers. An abandoned temple? Yes. It's an old building. <coughs> the door may be closed. There should be a hole in the second floor.
such as an offering. Another one. Where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial mob. Leave and go ahead. <laughs> Where you find the departed, you'll find where he...
Is that you, Shinobi? I was so taken by the melody. I did not see you coming. Ah, I can hear it. I'm sure the Shamisen player is just beyond here. I knew it. She's been waiting for me the whole time. He's right over there.
Are you there, Shinobi? Yes. I must give you my thanks, Shinobi. Your thanks? You brought the Shamisen player to me just a moment ago. She caressed me while playing her sweet melody. Hmm. It was a different song than before. Like a lullaby. A peaceful, warm melody. She spoke to me. She played. Thank you for coming to me, she said. It turns out she was calling to me this whole time. Shinobi, please take this. I'm so very tired. Have you mastered any secret techniques? Yes. Yes. It seems you have. Sekiro. You really have a knack for killing. Wonderful. Here's your reward. Take it. Certainly. Sekiro. I know you... <coughs> are... Are you all right? <clears throat> I'll enjoy the air up here for a little while longer. Go, Sekiro.
Lord Ishin, I'm concerned that the Tengu will make another appearance. Emma? Yes? I imagine Genichiro will show up eventually to put it to use. The other mortal blade. To protect Ashina, he'll abandon everything about who he is, won't he? Yes. I expect no less from my own grandchild. However, I cannot let him use Kuro's blood. He can only swing the blade but a few more times. And when that happens, the Tengu will be no more. But there is the other one. <laughs> you mean Sekiro? He is a sullen sort, but I can't say I detest the lad. In truth, he fascinates me. It never fails. Lord Ishin disappears the moment I take my eyes off of him. He's quite a handful. Goodbye. of your death, yet here you are. What are you plotting, Al? Plotting? I would do no such thing. Now, my lord, I must ask that you accompany me. This old bird has but one desire. To protect the divine heir from those that might take his esteemed blood. So, the dragon's heritage has seduced you too. And there is nothing to discuss. Take your leave. I would, my lord, but I'm so stunned by this view, I'd like to take it in just a while longer. I'll leave when I've had my fill. Father, to think you were still alive. That was my design, but the same could be said for you. I was certain you died that night. The power of the Divine Heir brought me back. That's it. What? The Divine Heir's power, the Dragon's blood, must be mine. Father... Now you see it. Remember the first rule of the Code. As your father, I order you to forsake your master. From this moment, he is your master no more. Forsake the Divine Heir. Listen to me, Wolf. Obey your father's command, and forsake the Divine Heir. I cannot do as you ask. You... what? 
A shinobi showing the likes of compassion. Unthinkable. Such a miserable display. <sighs> Why, boy? Why can't you understand your father's will? Have you forgotten the Shinobi Code? A code must be determined by the individual. This is what I've decided. Just as my master did. Enough talk. Been a while since we did this. Give me your own. <laughs>
wolf. I am relieved to see that you are safe. And Al? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. <sighs> this branch. It's from the Everblossom tree? I see. So Al had it. Everblossom. Lady Emma spoke of it once. The Everblossom is a Sakura tree that was brought over from the Divine Realm by Lord Takeru. It once bloomed behind this castle. However, when a branch was cut off and the flowers taken, the Everblossom eventually dried and withered away. So this is that branch? Yes, I believe so. We are a step closer to the Fountainhead Incense. Yes. Yes, that's right, Wolf. My lord, I have procured the ingredients for the aroma. Oh, so that is the stone for the Fountainhead Incense? What a peculiar shape it is. Yes, it had been made into some sort of shrine. So it was just as Lord Takeru wrote. Yes, there was also an inscription. A sweetly scented bridal offering, written on the altar. Bridal? Hmm, what sort of place was this? It was in a cave, beyond a door made of solid rock. Hmm, in that case, where was the wedding procession headed? No way to know, I guess. Sweetly scented? Hmm? Lord Kuro, that place might be the gateway to the Divine Realm. Hmm, I see. Sweetly scented. Meaning, wrapped in the fountainhead incense. That is what it might be referring to. Wolf, we've finally done it. Once we make the fountainhead incense, you can infuse your clothes with the aroma. Now, place all of the ingredients in the incense burner. As you wish. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. Ugh. It's over now, Wolf. How is the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Mm. So this is the Fountainhead Incense. It's so extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, do you notice anything different? The aroma and Fountainhead Palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead Palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. But how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering that was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. I'd like to make a request. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark, is it a birthmark? No. Then, that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. 
Are you done? Yes, that will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. So, it's not a birthmark. Then, that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. Huh. I still don't understand the particulars, but it appears as though your body is no longer confined by the rules of our world. Come and see me if you notice anything alarming. I will. This power, it comes from Lord Kuros. It's said to be a power of the Divine Heir's Dragon Heritage. Those who have been given the power of resurrection, they are revived upon death repeatedly. Let me know if you notice any more changes. I don't think the power of resurrection comes without a cost. There was a dragon rot epic that it is... Master Wolf, it looks as if your brow is... Master Wolf, it looks... Your... Goodbye. I'm glad you've come. Master Wolf, it your... Goodbye. must do what must be done. Mm -hmm. That is what the Diviner said. He must be hiding something. I see. Uh, what is it? Lord Takeru spoke of beheading in his memoirs. Yes. Perhaps the act of beheading was the means to end immortality, along with the life of the Divine Heir. What? If you walk the path of immortal severance, then you must use the mortal blade to... End my lord's life. Yes. Lord Kuro desires immortal severance. I understand that. I do. And yet... Master Wolf, might there be a path where Lord Kuro need not lose his life? The dragon's heritage is no ordinary power. There could be such a path. Well then, Master Wolf. I ask that you help me find such a path. A path where Lord Kuro need not die. I will not let my lord die. Thank you. We must find a starting point. Yes. <sighs> oh. Yes. Lady Tomoe's. Master Wolf, I might have a place to start. I'll look into it and let you know as soon as I find something. Thank you. Also... We may want to... Keep this from the Divine Heir. Yes. Master Wolf, I might have a place to start. I'll look into it and let you know as soon as I find something. Thank you. Also... Keep... Yeah. Goodbye. Master Wolf, I've found something. Here. Purification? Yes. It says here, there is a way to cut the ties of the dragon's blood and transform its owner into a regular human being. The process requires a flower from the Everblossom, as I told you once before. The Everblossom is a Sakura tree that Lord Takeru brought here from the Divine Realm. However, someone cut a branch from the tree and stole the flowers, and the Everblossom eventually dried and withered away. So the Everblossom tree has been entirely lost. If the tree itself no longer exists, the flowers don't exist either. Correct. But the branch that was stolen did have flowers on it. So if it could be found... Is this the branch from the Everblossom tree? It was... in my father's possession. Master Owl. But there are no flowers on this branch. Hmm. What's wrong? It's nothing. I was just trying to remember back to when the Everblossom still flourished. But try as I might, the memory is hazy. 
their graves. What? I think I'll pay a visit to Lord Takeru and Lady Tomoe's graves. That's where the Ever Blossom once grew. Something might come back to me. long have you been there? Have you remembered anything? Uh, nothing, I'm afraid. Nothing? That's right. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to remember anything significant. Perhaps one of my old friends can help. I'll meet with Orangutan at his temple. Orangutan? Yes. It's the sculptor's old nickname. Back then, Lord Kenichiro and I would come here a lot. Lord Takeru would play the flute, and Lady Tomoe would dance under the Ever Blossom. It was a wonderful sight. Perhaps one of my all speak. You're here, Master Wolf. Was the sculptor able to help? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid we'll need to look for other clues. One of us must die. <sighs> what did that mean? Were you listening this whole time? Tell me. Uh, I saw it that day beneath the branches of the Everblossom tree. Lady Tomoe tried to commit suicide. Why? She said those made immortal by the oath of the dragon's heritage, shackle their masters. So in order for the purification to occur, the oath bound of the dragon's heritage must die? Yes, precisely. But she was unable to achieve the purification. Correct. She did not have the mortal blade. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lose Lord Kuro or you, but all paths are leading to dead ends. What are you hiding? So, you overheard. Tell me. Do what must be done. I will live by those words, as my master does. Here. Is this a bell? It fell off Owl's dead body, if I'm not mistaken. You and Master Owl have a deep connection. Should you offer it to Buddha, it may be a different experience than the one you had before. I will try it. I am not sure what memories you will see, but the bell belonged to Master Owl, so please, take care. Goodbye, Master Wolf. A true wolf would choose for himself how to use his fangs. The look on your face tells me you've done just that. Another time, then. I'll lend you shelter any time.
that day, I pulled you from the battlefield, a starving cub. I had no idea what you'd become. Father, it breaks my heart. But I'm putting you down!
Please be careful. The palace nobles have a craving for the vitality of youth. They can't help themselves. They want nothing but to sap away more and more of it. I see. The courtyard ahead in particular. It is accursed. It's crawling with palace nobles. If you must forge ahead, you'd best go around it.
to be going to the palace. Yes. If you are, you should take the back path. Nowadays, it's underwater. But there is a large cave you can take to get there. Only, I hear the great carp now sleeps there.
Lord Ishin, what happened? Lord Ishin has succumbed to his illness and passed away. I see. I'm sure you sensed it. The Central Forces have taken this opportunity to attack the castle. And the Divine Heir? Here. This key. My lord has escaped the castle through the secret passage? Yes, Master Wolf. The secret passage can be found along the moat in the Ashina Reservoir, not far from the Moonview Tower. Lord Kuro escaped the castle through that secret passage and should be waiting for you in the silver grass field. Understood. The Nightjar have left smoke signals on the roofs under Lord Ishin's orders. The smoke should lead the way to Lord Kuro.
Lord Kuro is the sea the of the yeah. I pray that Lord Kuro
Kisa wish ya bene. Shinobi of the Divine Air, we meet again. Behold, the second mortal blade. Genichiro. If you think you can change Ashina's fate with such a thing, you are mistaken. Wolf. No one has the right to the dragon's heritage. It is no one's to bear. I wish there was another way. It's all right. One last time. Yes. Let's finish this. I will restore Ashina to glory! Beautiful grandchild, this was your last wish. To see Ashina returned from the great beyond.
are you? I am at your side. Take the dragon tears. hereby condemn the last immortal. May you live on and embrace what it means to be human. So you're leaving? Yes. I too will live for every moment. And then I will pass on. Just as my shinobi it for me. Lady Emma, I owe much to you as well. remember you well. I heard stories of your death, yet here you are. What are you plotting, Al? Plotting? I would do no such thing. Now, my lord, I must ask that you accompany me. This old bird has but one desire. To protect the divine heir from those that might take his esteemed blood. So, the dragon's heritage has seduced you too. And there is nothing to discuss. Take your leave. I would, my lord, but... I'm so stunned by this view. I'd like to take it in just a while longer. I'll leave when I've had my fill.
father. To think you were... still alive. That was my design. But the same could be said for you. I was certain you died that night. The power of the Divine Air brought me back. That's it. What? The Divine Air's power. The Dragon's blood. Must be mine. Father... Now you see it. Remember the first rule of the Code. As your father, I order you to forsake your master. From this moment, he is your master no more. Forsake the Divine Heir. Listen to me, Wolf. Obey your father's command, and forsake the Divine Heir. As you command. In accordance with your father's word, you will forsake the Divine Heir. You understand now, don't you? Yes. The code is absolute. I hereby forsake my master. The Divine Heir. I expected no less from you, my boy. With this, our supreme reign will... Hmm. It seems we have a troubling guest. But to oppose the daughter of the late Lord Doga would be quite the insult. Disgrace! My, my. Not bad at all. Wolf, I leave this to you. Have at it. Tear her apart. Sir. I have witnessed Shura once before. The very same stirs inside of you. You must be destroyed. Sekiro. You are a most unkind and inauspicious man. But for some reason I could not bring myself to hate you. Seems I must cut you down before you fall to Shura.
It was not to be. Soldiers and town folk alike died by the thousands. Very few survived. Ashina became the setting for the most tragic massacre of the Sengoku era. And for a long time after, it was said a demon lurked the land. 